lovelies welcome to my channel once again in this video i'm going to show you how to do um the top of the size 10 shoes uh, using a full tunisian stitch so i'll show you how you can do it do not worry if you're a beginner we'll do it slowly it's very easy okay so let's start before we start please do subscribe to my channel and do turn on that notification uh, bell okay let's start okay so to begin i'm going to need some t-shirt yarn i'm going to you need a tunisian uh, hook and this uh, this one is a 6.5 but you can use a six millimeter one if you have i only had a 6.5 so that's why i used it but you can really use a six if you have we're also going to use a six millimeter hook a scissors to cut our yarn okay let's start Okay, so to begin, I'm going to first do a slip knot. Take my hand, put one on top of the other. Uh, put my fingers inside the, the the circle. Take this one, this one that's underneath, and pull it through the circle. Then after that, you pull, and that is a slip. That's a slip knot, and this is adjustable. Right. After I do that, the uh, second thing that I'm going to do, I'm going to wrap my yarn on my finger. With this finger and this finger, I'm going to hold my yarn. I'm going to take my hook, go forwards, grab some yarn, um, turn the hook to face down, and go backwards. And that is what we call chaining. I'm going to do it again. Go forwards, grab some yarn, switch turn your hook to face down and go backwards that's the second chain so i need 15 so i've done two with you i'm going to do this as a third one i'm going to do 12 more and come back okay so i've done 15 chains and this is the first one so now what i'm going to do i want to put stitches on my hook so i'm going to insert my hook into that um, next stitch grab some yarn Pull it through and that is my second stitch. I'm not going to do anything to it. Then I go to the next stitch. Grab some yarn. Pull it through. That's my third stitch. So I'm going to continue to do that until I have 15 stitches. So let me do that off camera and come back. Okay, so this is 15 stitches now on my hook. And this is the first row. This is the full Tunisian stitch. It works with two Two rows and this is the first one so to do that we need to return so to return i'm going to grab some yarn and you're going to pass that yarn through the first loop just like that and grab some yarn again and now i'm going to pass through the second two and this is what i'm going to do for the rest of the stitches like this is the, of the stitches I'll be passing pass through and this is called the return stitch return pass so this is what i'm going to do for the rest till i'm left with one loop grab some yarn pass it through the next two grab some yarn pass it through the next two grab some yarn pass it through the next two so i'm going to do that until i get to my last two Hold on. Till I get to my last two. Uh oh. Till I get to my last two. Like that. now okay so now um you've reached the end again and you've got one loop so this is a two repeat two row repeat so i'm going to repeat what we did in the first row and we'll, so now to go back i'm going to go in the middle of the stitches that's where i'll be putting my my hook so going to the first loop 
or space then I'll collect my second stitch then I'll go into the next space collect go into my the next step grab some yarn pull it through pull your yarn this is a really tight stitch so try to pull your yarn and try to make it loose so I'm going to go all the way down grabbing the stitches so I have one two three four five one two three four five six seven this so I'm going to go all the way this should be 15 so now I didn't go sorry I didn't go all the way I I went all the way until I got to the 14th stitch so now I'm going to skip this space here this escape to that I would normally put the number 15 but now what I'm going to go do I'm going to skip that space and I'm going to put my hook into these last two loops here so I'm going to stick my hook and I'm going to grab some yarn and I'll pull through my last 15th loop so if I count this should be 15 so now what I'm going to do so in this line I skipped this part right so in the next after I go back in the next I'm going to skip the first one so you'll be skipping the first one you're skipping the last one and that's what you'll be doing alternating so I'm going to go back again the same way I did before I'm going to grab somewhere and pass through just the first loop like this then after that I'm be passing through two loops so I'll be I'm going to grab some yarn and pass through the next two loops like this grab some yarn and pass through the next two loops going all the way back pass the next two loops grab some yarn pass through the next two loops like that grab some yarn pass through the next two loops grab some yarn pass through the next two loops i'm going to do that all the way and come back okay so i've reached the end of the line i'm going to start another line now this time what i'm going to do i'm going to skip the first part this first space here and i'm going to start in the second so I'm going to stick my hook into the second space. Grab some yarn, pull it through, and that will be my second loop. Then I'm going to pull through the next the, the next space, the next space until I get to the 15th one. Then I'll show you something. So let me go all the way until I get to the 15th, then I come back. Okay, so I've reached the end. You're going to notice that. In my last stitch this is the 14th so what I'm going to go I'm also going to go into the loop and I'm going to insert my hook in there so in this line we skipped the first space and we started at the second one and we did this normal and at the end remember to put your hook in these two loops and that is where you put your your last 15th loop right so since we skipped the second the first the you know when we're going back the second one what we're going to do in the next line we're going to start from the first and we'll skip the 15th the one that's supposed to be the 15th i hope i'm making sense so we're going to go back again set a new line i'm going to grab some yarn and i'm going to pass through just one loop the first loop right after that i'm going to be grabbing some yarn grabbing some yarn and i'm going to pass through the second two so i'll be grabbing yarn and passing through two grabbing yarn and passing through two till i get all the way to the beginning there so let me do that and come back Right, so I've reached the beginning. You're going to see 
we are on our third row you're going to see the start the pattern is now starting to come up right and we're going to go back again and this time we're going to start in the first space this one so it's the second loop try to make it loose this does curl up a lot so try to make it as loose as Just fixing my and this is my third I'm going back again yes I'm going to go all the way to this part until I do 14 then I come back okay so I've done 14 I'm going to skip the 15th space this one and I'm going to go into this space here yeah, these two loops this one and this one these two loops there I'm going to cut my yarn and get my 15th loop right there okay then I'm going to do a return pass to return to begin it I'm going to grab the man and pass through the first loop just like that then the rest i'm going to be passing through two i'm going to grab some yarn and pass through two so this is a pattern that works with two rows and you'll be repeating these two rows alternating where you skip at the beginning and that at the end and you must always have 15 loops or however many stitches you've started with so i'm going to continue to return to the beginning like so so let me do that and come back okay so i'm going to do a last one with you on camera then so this line now i'm starting on the second one so i'm going to skip this one and start in the next skip i'm going to build my stitches on my hook again so i'm going to go into the next space you can clearly see the spaces right three four so I'm going to be going in this spaces this spaces until I get to my 14th and come back okay so I've done 14 and I'm going to go into this two loops again to do my last 15th uh, loop it does scale up a lot but do not worry do not worry so i'm going to do the last return pass then i'll show you how to finish this okay so like before i'm going to grab some yarn pass through the first just the first loop like this then the rest i'll be passing through the through two loops yeah a wooden um tunisian hook is not the best it's a little bit do a return pass all the way and come back okay so we have done four um four sets of two remember this is a stitch that works with two two stitches one going this way and you return so we've done four of those to get to this size you need to do 12 to get to this side you need to do 12 so I'm not going to do the 12 on camera I'm just going to show you how you finish when you how to finish this how you would um, how you would end it so to do that you're going to go into the, the first stitch here grab the man put it through like that and what you're going to do you're going to do slip stitches so you're going to slip this stitch into the stitch just like that and you're going to the next 
stitch grab some yarn pass it through and you're going to do slip stitches again you're going to slip this one into this one uh oh You need to slip this one into this one like that you go into the next space slip stitching go into the next space and you slip stitch again so you're going to slip stitch all the way and that is how you you end I'm going to slip stitch all the way and I'll show you how to cut my yarn okay so it's curling up a lot if this was the size that I want this is what I do just to sleep do slip stitches then I'm done then after that when you get to the very end it doesn't matter here that you have an extra stitch it's okay it's just the border it's okay so then you're going to just do the last one and you pull your pull your yarn and you cut I don't want to cut this because I'll use it for something else now I I have managed to stretch it so I was able to fit all the 12 stitches in the rightful places so I didn't have to do two in the first one okay so let me show you how I attach the same way that I attach all my shoes like the top okay so let me show you so for this part I'm using a size six millimeter hook I'm going to do a slip stitch slip knot to attach my yarn to the hook then I'll quickly show you how I do it I'm going to start okay so I put my stitch into both the beginning and the first stitch there I need to grab some yarn pass it through both loops like that you can have a long one and a right so now what I'm going to do I'm going to take the long one and I'm going to pull it into that one then I pull just to secure the yarn then I'm going to go into the same stitch same stitch take the end from the bottom bring it to the top so this part I'm sort of like repeating because my I'm putting new yarn then I'm going to put pull show me me yarn okay after pulling, I'm going to go into the same stitch first stitch that I start that I started with, and I'm going to grab some yarn and pass it through. Right, then you pull again. Okay. so now we're going to go into the third stitch on top and the third stitch at the bottom I'm sorry third stitch at the bottom you're going to grab some yarn and you're going to grab some yarn pass it through both the stitches the bottom and the top pull your yarn right so now your yarn is at the top the yarn is at the top and you're going to grab some yarn and you're going to pass through the bottom stitch so that's what you'll be doing securing the stitches like that until you do all of the stitches so stitches so i'll be repeating that do it one last time i'm going to go into the next stitch on top and i'm going to go into the next stitch at the bottom like this grab some yarn pass through grab some yarn and pull it through both stitches then you pull that's the first step then the second step to secure this you're going to go to the bottom stitch your yarn should be at the top 
so you can do grabs on yan and you press it too so that is all that you're going to do to be attaching so i'll be doing that all the way until i get to the end so come back okay head on to my channel to check this out how to do this this is the full tunisian stitch and i did it for the size 10 you know somebody like i said in the previous video somebody requested that i do a size 10 uh shoe so i decided to do a full tunisian stitch on top um there's a size 7 request also i'll do a different something different okay 